The view single file components in tax is the way that most view developers create their components. However, there are some times when we need the full power of JavaScript. Functional components are an alternative form of component that don't have any state of their own. In fact, they're rendered without creating a component instance, so they bypass the usual component lifecycle. It took me a while to see where this might come in handy, but recently when I was working on the LearnView website, I came across a pretty good example. On our articles, I create these by converting Markdown to HTML. So each one of these sections in the article is an individual component called text content. And text content can be a paragraph, any level of heading, and so on and so on. Doing this with a single file component, we would need a ton of vif and vlsif conditionals where only one root element would ever render. Using functional components, with the render function, we can make this a lot simpler. To create a functional component, we use a plain function rather than an export default with an options object. And the signature of this function is the same as our setup hook, where we have props as our first argument and context as our second, which has slots, emit, and attributes. Then at the end of this, we want to return a vnode that we create with view's render function. And for our simple example, we want to import h from view and say return h, pass in our first argument, which is the type of our element, and we'll say props.type. And this is an element type like div, p, or h1. Our second argument will be any attributes we want to add, like IDs, class, or event listeners. And the third one will be children. And this can either be elements, but for our example, we just want it to be text. So we can say props.content. If we export this from our JavaScript file, we can use it inside of our other view components. For example, let's go to app.view and import ref from view and text content if we create a reactive array called values and give it elements that contain type and content we can go down to our template and say text content v4 type comma content and values and then pass type and content to the text content component and if we look at our app, not only are both items in our array rendering, but they're rendering with a proper tag. Let's take a look at one more advanced use case. Let's say that we want to listen to a click event. Inside app.view, let's listen for the click event with at click and call a method called handle click that just logs something to our console. Inside text content, we can use that second argument of our render function to listen to click events. And when we're using event listeners, we need to say on, so we can say on click. And using context, we can say context.emit click. And one thing that we should remember to do to specify that this text content component emits a method called click. While most of us are used to doing this inside single file components, with functional components, we can do this by saying text content.emits and then creating an array of strings with the names of each of the methods that we want to emit. So for ours, it would just be clicked. Now, if we look at our app, not only does everything render, but as we click each one of our elements, we can see something being printed to our console. If you want me to make more videos on functional components or the render function, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.